Are you addicted to playing Stardew Valley and are just dying to know what's the personality types of the NPCs you're giving a tomato to? Do you share the personality type with the mayor or the smelly hobo? Well, you're in luck because I did what you couldn't. I Googled it and I found out what their types are and I'm gonna tell you. I'm probably gonna miss a few NPCs here and there. So if you would like to fill in the blanks in the comment section down below, that would be great. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I'm no expert in typing. There are plenty of MBTI YouTubers who are, and they'll charge you $3 million to tell you what type you are. I'm just here to make jokes. And I got all of these types from the personality type database. Link in the description. So don't be mad at me, be mad at them. Sadly, there aren't many INFPs in Stardew, which is a shame because Pelican Town is kind of like the INFP's dream world. You got all kinds of cute animals and all the agriculture you want, but no work. And it even has a wizard cowboy. All it needs is a craft store and it would be INFP Vana. But the only INFP resident I could find was Jazz, who's just a kid character. And there is Professor Snail, but he isn't even a resident. If you want to go the mod way, there is Sophia, but I've never played this mod and I know nothing about her, so she doesn't count. And it's even worse for INTPs. I couldn't find any INTPs in the main game, except there is one in that mod I mentioned earlier. They're named Martin, and they're a teen who works for the evil Jojo Mart. Come on, Stardew, we need better type representation. But if you're looking for an INFG, look no further than Elliot or your grandpa. But Elliot makes perfect sense. Just look at this guy. He's a total actor. He's always showing his best side. His bad side is always covered with his hair that he uses as a mask. Stardew Valley has quite a few ISFPs, including yourself, according to the database. I guess it makes sense. ISFP seem well suited to the slow country good life. So Linus, Abigail, and Clint are all ISFPs. I really like Linus. He's seriously one of my favorite characters. And kind of spoilers, when he's rustling through Gus's trash and gets caught, I felt so bad for him. But then when Gus offered Linus free lunch, I was so happy. I teared up a little bit. It was so sweet. But Linus lives the way he wants. It might not be my way, but that's just how ISFPs roll. Emily's an ENFP, and I don't know why I think this, but she looks like an ENFP. Just look at her face. Isn't that the mug of somebody who looks like they're just constantly thinking about what introvert can I grab and drag to a party? She's just waiting for the community center to be done. Maru is an ENTP, and it makes sense that there aren't many ENTPs in Pelican Town. There's no debate club, and that's just unlivable for an ENTP. The evil manager of Jojo Mart is Morris, and he is an ENTJ. He apparently lives in the store, which seems very fitting for an ENTJ. He's also trying to take out the local community store and replace the community center with a warehouse. He'll probably enslave the Juminos who live there too. Caroline is an ENFJ, which makes sense. She's got the whole green hair thing going on, but is also a pillar of her community and just wants her goth daughter to be more normal. Both Gus and Evelyn are ESFJs. They're pretty stable fellows who love caring for the community, even if they have to do it at a cost. Like Gus with feeding Linus earlier, remember? If you're looking for an ESFP, look no further than the town's shallow blondes. Haley and Sam. Both seem pretty occupied with having a good time and living their life to the fullest, like most ESFPs. Pelican Town actually has three ISFJs, with Penny, Harvey, and Marnie. All three are pretty shy fellows who share a strong desire to help those close to them. They seem chill, but you better watch out if you get on their bad side. Willie, the town fisherman who, oddly enough, doesn't have a boat, is an ISTJ. He's an introverted workaholic, working double hours because fish don't sell like they used to. I think it's because Morris is infecting the water with the Jojo Cola. Willie's also a man of tradition, even if he is a fisherman without a boat, but he does what he can do. Shane and Sebastian are ISTPs. I guess it makes sense that Shane, one of the town drunks, is an ISTP. I mean, he's a workaholic too. And I don't know, Sebastian's discontent with life strikes me more as an INTP thing. But then again, he seems to be a lot more grounded in reality and wants a window in his basement, not a time machine. Pierre is an ESTJ. Which is good, only an ESTJ could take on the evil fish poisoning Morris. He works hard and keeps his machine running like clockwork, and even leads by example, always working there at the front desk. George is also an ESTJ, which I don't agree with at all. 
He's no extrovert. I think he's an ISTJ. He's even got the whole gray hair thing going on. Well, I think it's at least supposed to be gray. I think everyone knows Alex is an ESTP. He's totally got that sporty jock vibe going on and probably won't back down for much. And Pam is the other town drunk who is also an ESTP. Hey Alex, you better learn to look before you leap or you'll be jumping into her shoes in the next 30 years. And finally, we have the INTJs who are the cowboy wizard who's so much of an introvert we don't even know his name. And Demetrius, Demetrius? The scientist guy who lives in the woods and does science experiments in his unlocked lab. I know Demetrius is happily married to Robin and they have two kids together, but wouldn't Demetrius make a great couple with the wizard, even if it's just a bromance? Well, anyway, I'm off the fanfic.net, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have another piece of fiction you want to be typed, comment down below. I've been Trevor Knight. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys all next time.